Now that all of the groundwork in preparation is complete, we can convert our three DGN libraries that we have prepared, the design standards, the graphical terrain filters, and the feature definitions. So let's get started by doing our design standards first. We'll select our design standards, select open, and when we get this prompt to upgrade, we want to select yes to allow it to upgrade. When we see this prompt to use the active workspace, that is fine, select open. With this file open, then we can proceed to verify in Project Explorer. If we expand down to our design standards, you should have then entries uh, for each of your particular horizontal and or vertical requirements. Next up, we're going to open the file in the feature definitions subfolder under DGNlib for the graphical train model filters and so we will select to open that file allow it to then upgrade once the upgrade is complete we go down to our terrain filters and verify that we do indeed see our individual filters and our filter groups those all then indeed look appropriate so the last step in the process is then to open up our feature definitions so we'll select to open that. Again, select yes to upgrade. And with this upgrade complete, there is a little bit of cleanup here we need to do, particularly under the symbologies. And if you take a look here, we have under surface our components, meshes, modeling, and terrain display. But we had these duplicate empty folders under here. Uh, this is a known issue that we will get uh, corrected so these empty folders we will go ahead and delete and so you can see that those those folders don't actually fall under any particular symbology again there's nothing in them just a something that needs to be corrected under feature definitions we're not going to have that situation that was just under the symbologies that we needed to do that so if we take a look at what came forth we have under terrains we have the different entries and notice how it is automatically pointing us to the proper surface feature symbology for in this particular example and so if I go down and look then under the surface underneath our components existing you will see that I have that entry there and that particular entry is pointing to the proper element templates required that were also used in select series 4 now it, if your element templates are not present in here as I said these pointers for these symbologies will not be set they will all be set to none and so it, it is a requirement to have the element templates in here uh, to do this conversion and have everything come through with this conversion some things are set up for us and some things are not for example there are no alignments feature definitions but they are here in the linear these particular entries in select series 4 were utilized for processing with stations and tick marks and curve labels etc so there is going to be some manual work where we have to take some things out of linear for example and put those under alignment and so we're going to talk about all of this in our bulk editing process in our next uh, video series in this particular training course and so we need to complete our corridors our super elevations our linear templates and our surface templates a lot of that which can be done by our bulk editing process If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.